Alright guys, Ed here, top of the line training. We're out here continuing with the knife series. We're at Castle Rock, Illinois State Park uh, at the wetlands uh, portion. And we're getting attacked by these damn bugs. So we're going to keep rolling and we're going to continue on with what we've been doing. First, a quick review. This is our one for one drill. So we're checking. We're passing. We're stopping and scooping. We're scooping only. Now for the drill, we go, we may scoop and check here. And you can do that, that could be a technique. And then we feed. But in real life, it could look like something like this here, right away. So that's that. Now the new, two new things. We're, we got our flow going, whatever it is. We're working whatever techniques we want to work in there. We have our angles changing and whatnot. So the first one is going to be stop, cut, and scoop. Come back. Okay, so one more time, stop, cut, and scoop. Okay, normally you want to figure that we come in here, we cut this right away. This is going to loosen this up for sure, if not make them drop it. When you cut somebody, you don't know what they're going to do. I mean, if they have the intent on killing you, they may hold on to the blade and try to attack you more, whatever. You can't assume anything, but here we are, we cut. And scoop you can roll from there the next one off of the feed whatever it may be it's going to be cut and scoop right away now normally if someone attack you with a knife you could cut right away just like that or you could cut cut up and pass whatever but this one here it's going to be cut and scoop it goes back to what I was saying, go ahead. Uh, it goes back to what I was saying. You don't know what someone's gonna do. When they feed like this and you cut, you wanna presume that they're gonna drop that knife. But you don't know, so you pass it right along. Find the advantage. You can even scoop back over it if you want to get control. Come into a lock or whatever, okay? Now also note, from here, I don't know where I was, but I ended up down here. I think I fed the uh, five, go ahead. So here we are, five, and she feeds one. She fed the one, and I parried it up that way. So you can find any combination of capture, parry, cut, whatever you wanna do. Goonting, all of that's in here. But it starts off with the one for one. If you look at the progression, We've went one for one here, stabbing. Five angle, two angle, or four angle, depending on what system you're doing. Whatever it is. So here's this. From here, I scoop away. Can you drill? I just uh, check it there in the low side and continue the drill. I can pass it. I can pass it. So what the next thing is, or the next thing you could do off of the drill, when she passes, you circle around and stab. So I pass, she circles around and stabs right away. So I pass right away. See, you can't pass a blade, really. If you know what they're doing, right, you're gonna eat that right away. Unless you come back around and catch her here. Then you can go into something. But she counted already to come cut me here. See what I'm saying? So it's a sensitivity, high level, very high level of sensitivity of motion. Example, in Wing Chun sensitivity and other arts, <clears throat> you screw that up, you get a fat lip. You screw this up, you could get cut, stabbed, or, and probably die. So again, we're here passing. She might, we might pass and pass it away. And she, she might throw, or I might throw hers or throw it hard. 
However, the faster you throw it, the faster I can come around with it. See? So we're just going through our one for one. I might pass and she doesn't catch it. But this next time I do it, she may circle around and stab me. That's the idea. And what that trains her to do is just that particular motion. Okay, what it's doing for me is I'm parrying that out of the way. That could be a punch coming in. So you can parry, see what I'm saying? So you relate the blade to the empty hand as well. But what I'm doing is what she's training me on this side is I'm seeing the blade, I'm parrying, and now I'm countering. However, because she's gonna get some activity out of it, out of nowhere I parry, she comes back around and stabs me. If I'm not on my game, I don't block, or even if I do block, right there's a scoop, or it go under. But she could scoop and cut right there, see? This is uh, nat this is uh, Night Fighting 101. And if you're not training it, you need to add it into your uh, curriculum because this is base right here. If I stop here, there's scoop there or go under. Or go right under. Roll around and go under. Yeah, see? Either way. So we're here. Some feet to five. See, and I stopped her blade too. Now I got the scoop, I got the cut, I got the slice, step, 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 check. And actually when you check, you should be checking this way. Feed it back, see it can't go anywhere. And from here, you can do any technique or move you wanna do. All right guys, this is the top of the line training. Bugs are attacking big time. I don't think there's any blade form that we can defend ourselves. So, until the next one, God bless, take care, we'll see you then. We're out here at uh, Castle Rock State Park, Illinois. Um, we'll see you on the next one.